So in the same fashion that we created this array, we will going to create an array of IDs. And this will going to be a number array. I'm just put punching some random numbers. And since I have the same number of elements in both arrays, where one ID is for each employee, this basically generates what we call a parallel array, two arrays of same length with corresponding values. Very similar to this, I can create another array called hourly rate, and I can create an array of double values. And that generates an array of double values. So I have three parallel arrays. One have the employee names, one have the employee IDs, and one have the hourly rates. Let me call it hourly rates. Okay. So once we are done with this, we will now going to, in a loop, we're gonna display one record at a time and let's try to use a tabular approach, means I want to display it in a table format. Since I want to do it in a table format, I need to start my table outside of the loop. I need to close my table outside of the loop. Inside of the loop, I will going to generate what? Three cells in a row. So my inside loop will generate one row of three cells, where each cell will have one of the three values. So again, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the table in the JavaScript loop. So we're going to be writing our row structure once, and we're going to be just looping through that row structure as many times as there are items in an array. Now for the column headings, we're also going to do that before the loop, so that the column headings do not have to be repeated for every row. So let's first build our table structure. So we will going to display our table structure document dot write. I'm going to start out my table here. And I will going to this time use opening and closing curly braces for my loop as I will have more than one statements. And I'll close my table outside of the loop. Those two things I'm going to do right away because sometimes we tend to forget the closing of the table. Then before I enter in the loop, I will going to declare my first row of headings. So this will going to be my opening row. And this opening row will have three cells. And as you can see, that each one of the heading, one of the three values, so I want to declare my heading once. Inside the body of the loop, I will generate one row at a time, and in that row, I will once again generate three cells, like exactly the same format that I have for the heading row. The main difference will be instead of TH, I'll use TD. So let me get rid of the logic that I have inside the for loop. So we will now going to copy this row that we created outside of the loop. We're going to now bring it inside the loop. And we will going to now do some replacement of text in the <clears throat> three inner cells from TH to TD. <clears throat> And besides that, we will also going to do some concatenation with the array. Third value will going to be hourly rates. And since it's a parallel array, I can certainly loop through it like that.
And here in the output, you can see that everything appears in a column. My table is fixed width, means it is only going as large as the contents that it carries. And again, I can use some CSS to make the look and feel of this table very fancy. And let me add a style. And this is where I will going to add some CSS. So for example, I can say I would like my, the table width to be 600 pixels. I want my table to have a border of two pixel solid black. I want the border to be collapse. Similarly, I have to do for TD and TH. If I want to give it a border, I need to put in, I want to give certain border properties. So I want it to be one pixel solid black. Now after that when I refresh my output you can see our new output right here.